Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to our phonemic awareness lesson for today. Today for phonemic awareness, you will need your synonyms three activity sheet from your packet and some scissors and a glue stick. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to work on our learning target that says, I can identify the synonyms of words. On Monday and Tuesday, we worked on synonyms, the same learning target and practiced knowing that words can have the same meaning, but they're different words, right? So we've gone over a few words together. Some synonyms that we've practiced using pictures to label but with different words that have the same meaning. So let's go over what we've already seen. Happy and glad are synonyms. Can you show me your happy face and your glad face? And let's say happy and glad are synonyms. They have the same meaning, but are different words. Good. Now can you show me your mad face? Mm. What's another word for mad that we've learned? Angry. Urgh. Everybody show me your angry face. So I could either say I am mad or I could say I am angry and it means the same thing. So we say mad and angry are synonyms. They have the same meaning even though they're different words. Okay. We also saw the word dad. Can you say dad? What's another word we learned for dad? That means the same. Father. I could say my dad likes to play basketball or I could say my father likes to play basketball and they are the same person, right? So we say dad and father are synonyms. Very good. Okay. We also learned some other synonyms, synonyms, synonyms that are different on day two. So yesterday we went over these guys. What's another word for run? Another word for run is jog. Can you say that with me? Jog. Very good. So I could say, I like to go on a long run or I like to go on a long jog. Run and jog are synonyms. Okay. Here. Then we also have the word small. What's a synonym for the word small? Tiny. We learned that small and tiny have the same meaning, but they are different words. So we call those synonyms. Okay. We saw the picture of the little ant that we did yesterday. Okay. What's another word for large? We could say enormous or we could say big. So large and big are synonyms. The whale is large or we could say the whale is big and they mean the same thing. All right, great job. So today we're gonna go over some new synonyms with some pictures that we have. And we're gonna practice cutting and gluing those to the picture to label. So let's go over the pictures that we have to add to our schema of knowing what it means to make a synonym or have a synonym. All right. Okay. So I have trash. Another word for trash I could use is garbage. Trash and garbage have the same meaning, but they're different words. So we call trash and garbage synonyms. Can you please take out the trash? Means the same as, can you please take out the garbage? Woo, it's smelly. All right. So trash and garbage. Can you think of another word for present? If your mom said, ooh, it's your turn to open your Christmas present, what's another word she could use besides present? Gift, right? Present and gift are synonyms. She could say, go ahead and open your Christmas gift instead of present. They mean the same thing, okay? So they are synonyms. And last one. Ooh, look at this sick little dog. Oh, poor dog. Can you think of another word for sick? 
Mm, I don't know if you've heard this word before. Sick and ill are synonyms. Can you say the word ill with me? Ill. Very good. So if you say my dog is sick or my dog is ill, that means the same thing. Sick and ill are synonyms. Okay. So let's take a look at our activity sheet for today. I have three pictures, one in each problem, with a word that already labels the picture. At the bottom, we're going to cut out and glue the other word that we could use to label the same picture. So we're going to find the synonym for each. So my first picture is a sick dog, and it shows the word ill next to the dog, ill. The next one is present, and the last one is garbage. So let's take a look at our words at the bottom. We have sick, trash, gift. I'm going to start with the first problem with ill. Ooh, so I want you to tell my finger to stop on the word that is the synonym for ill. I have gift, trash, sick, stop. That's it right there, sick. So with our scissors, we're gonna cut out the word sick. Remember, with our scissors, we always stick our thumb in what we call the alligator's eye. We pretend our scissors are alligators. And then we stick our three fingers in the bottom in its jaw and our alligator always eats away from our body. It only eats paper, right? So we're gonna make our alligator eat the lines of the box that says gift. So I'm going to cut that box out. So now I have gift and I'm going to glue it into the box next to the sick. I'm not gift. I'm sorry. Sick. Wrong one. What am I doing? Cut out the box sick. That wouldn't make sense to put gift next to the ill dog. That's not a gift. Now I have my word sick cut out and I'm going to glue it in the box next to the ill dog or sick dog because ill and sick are synonyms. They mean the same thing but are different words. Okay, so when you glue it, make sure to open your glue stick and swirl, swirl, swirl on the back. You don't need too much. Make sure to push it down really good with your fingers and it should stick. So now we have ill and sick. Great job today, friends, with your synonyms. We'll continue working on the same learning target tomorrow with a new set of words so that we're building our vocabulary and understanding what a synonym is. Great job. I'll see you tomorrow for your next Phonemic Awareness lesson.